Hey everybody, Day Trader Rockstar here, and here's an update on the Rockbot. Rock, new Rockbot code is being uploaded tonight, so this is basically what it's going to uh, um, be. I want to go over the uh, the setups with you just a little. Uh, I do. I've been testing them out on the Rockbot channel this past week, so a lot of a lot of everyone. I mean, most people, most of the traders listening in probably understand the concept be, behind the quad rotation, uh, and we've visually. Um, identified quad rotations on this beautiful chart that we look at every day you know to have the stochastic setups and and we look for divergences and they were just perfect you know they they're, they're our best go-to trade you know a good divergence but also we've been noticing the correlation between uh, different time frames and stochastic so uh, you know lining up the one minute time frame where you can actually get a view of what the five minutes is lining up with instead of overlapping or looking at two different charts the timing is just all down here on the 60 and then it's getting the other rotations in, in sync and you get those setups and boy the next thing you know you have a a good op you know you, you go back and you see there is a correlation between when that happens and when the market really changes and pivots so you know we combine those two of uh, two things together and you could start to uh you know give yourself some opportunities in the market there's enough opportunities during the day to, to kind of just work off of two different patterns and now there's other patterns you like to work off, but as, as you, you know, and if you're watching the show, you know how good those divergences work and how important they are. I mean, I don't try to find a new way because I don't think there's a better way out there identifying changing trends. Um, but, you know, there is still a little couple, you know, knowledgeable experience um, things that you need to gain over the years, understanding trends, understanding the discipline to take a, a trade off. If the if the market's in a choppy zone and you're seeing this rotation back and forth with the uh, with the, uh, the the nine three to fourteen three stochastics and you see these things continue to be very choppy, it makes sense to to use them to your advantage. Don't buy when you're getting a little extended here because you might be thinking you're going to break out. Most likely, it's going to pull back just to get set up to go higher. But at that point, you're being chased out or being stopped out. Because you don't know where no man land is, it might just might you know. So it's very difficult in life. But one easy rule to you know continue to just apply is to make sure that these uh, nine three fourteen threes are oversold and preferably heading up. And that's where the the the, the script comes into play. I have the new script that I'm going to be um, uploading. I'm, I just moved it over here. And what it was going to be, just a couple. I'm still. This is going to be the first version. So. First version is just going to be a marker of the quad rotation. It's not going to be able to trade. I mean, it w you know, it, it will be able to. I'm actually still working on that, and I thought it would have been done by now. But uh, you know, adding the, uh, but I'm getting, I'm getting one s s error, or it's not following up with a trailing stop, and I have to figure out why that's not happening. Um, but right now, I think this is going to be really good because we get to test it. Um, and it's, it, you can work with the uh, divergence setup really good. So I put a marker here. So whenever there's a, a quad rotation, and a quad rotation typically works off the multiple stochastics, the 9, 3, 14, 44, and 60, 10. And all of them have to be under a certain level at, at, at the same time. They have to come into sync. And that doesn't always happen because the, the bigger trend is slower on the stochastics. The five-minute time frame is a 60-minute rotation. It takes longer get oversold so lots of times we wait for that to get oversold before to see the bigger picture go back up very obvious and this times it even more the 93 breaks that mini channel inside you have the big channel and then you have the, the smaller trends inside that channel and that's what the 93 is giving us sorry about that so in the first version, the quad uh, rotation setup will be uh, a blue a blue line there. And the blue line is going to set up. It's not going to be just a perfect quad rotation, but there's going to be a little safety factor. I kind of call it a safety factor that the, uh, the last two periods of the stochastics have to be greater than the previous one. So you're starting to see that turn back up. You're starting, instead of catching something to the downside and it keeps on going down and going down and gets embedded and pushes down, this will prevent that type of sell-off. But, you know, it, it's, you know, these things are, you know, kind of, you try to measure out the best combination of things and how the market typically works and then knowing when to use it and when not to use it. Uh, this, again, gives us a good multiple indicator. 
And I always say, if, if this shows up and the divergence is in the same area, that is going to be your signal. This blue line is going to en enhance the other signals because lots of times you're going to get this. You're going to get a, a quick sell off, and it could, it, uh, you know, you're going to get this real bouncy movement down here, and that's going to trigger divergences just because of the formula is being triggered. It's a rare thing, but it does. And you can see here, um, actually, this is not the trade. This was actually a short up here. This was a divergent short. It's just a lot of it was taking profits on the way down, and then it went long. The the bot here today was unbelievable. I just the divergence uh, script has also been changed. So the first you know the first uh, update is going to be the the quad rotation, and that's going to show up as a blue line. And you can place that on you know run that script the same time you're running the divergence script. And if they both overlap, then you consider that a super signal. And you go thing. Other than that, I have the short divergence. That was a perfect short divergence at the highs today. You can see the stochastic right here, and then the lower stochastics and the stochastic and the high stochastic. Right, you see that in the arrow pointing out the divergence. Perfect divergence. It just it just took it all the way down here, and then it went long. It we got down here, it went long. Um, but it happened in this. I don't even know if it. Yeah, you know, I had to stretch this out. But I remember this short because that was the only short that it picked up today. All the other ones were these nice little pullbacks, and look how, look how perfect they were. They pulled back, divergence pushed up here, trailing stop came up, and then you didn't have to deal with any of the BS of the pullbacks and stuff. You're in and you're out. You're in and you're out. Now, of course, when you have the script, you have the parameters that you're going to run with that. So if I have this up here like this, let me see if I can bring this up for you. And this is, um, right now I have the uh, Thunderbird one minute short, the Thunderbird uh, buy, um, what do I have on this, the quad rotation, yes, all right, yeah, that's what I have. So I have the new th Thunderbird buy, it's a new Thunderbird buy, um, and then I have the, the I'm wondering what I have here. Oh, they have the short and the buy and the uh, quad rotation. Sorry about that. Couldn't couldn't read it properly. So the short one, the long one, that's the divergence and the quad rotation. So those are the three I really want to run and pull them down off of that. But just remember the um, the quad rotation won't have any parameters that you have to put there. The, the the short divergence and the long divergence. When you click on them, you're going to have these parameters that you could set up your own. Um, you know your own parameters right now I do believe this one the buy signal is set at eight ticks two points two lots come off and then another uh, two two lots two contracts come off at ten ticks that's just initial two ticks and then it tells you where you want to put your stop loss ticks in here but you're not using that you, you really want to use your stop loss type if you want to use ticks you can but right now, you, I would recommend using signal bar low, which that gives you a pure divergence setup. So this is searching divergences and placing the stop at the divergence low. It's all set up for you. Um, and then you can run it however you want to run it. Uh, but you can adjust these. Data these are all adjustable. And you have to really, that's what it comes down to, tuning these things. Because I'll look back here and I'll say, um, I'll, I'll look back here and I'll say, you know, maybe the, right, that was a sh that was another short there. It looks like wow, I didn't realize that. That's a perfect short. Market data connection reestablished. I got all th all kinds of things talking to me here. I have to cancel that before I show it to you again. Yeah, that wasn't uh, that was a short short up here too. So wow, that was I actually didn't realize it took two great shorts today. I mean, look at that short. I zoomed in all the way. But going back out here, let's just go back to the, um, oh, you know what, I, let me double check something here. That's what I wasn't showing up. I know I was, I was seeing that one short. I wasn't seeing the long that was in there. I got to turn that back on. Now I'm hoping that you all know how to use this. If not, refer to the other video. Refer to the other videos that are out there on the Rockbot, on the Rockbot page. That'll kind of get you started. Um, if this is all, you know, if you are downloading the Rockbot and you need to install it on your um, on your page, go to the Rockbot um, 
banner on the lower part, the lower right corner of your dashboard, and you'll see it there. And that's where you get the code and stuff. The code code is available to lifetime members only. Um, so we got that, and then uh, we got the new divergent. Now the new divergent's uh, set up here. Um, it's going to say diversion. It's not going to give you a time frame on that. That way, you're using the same the same good formula on all time frames. So you can use this on all time frames. You won't get confused. It might not say five minute divergence. I don't, that always annoyed me, so I made it. So I um, got rid of the um, you know some of the labeling and um, cleaned it up a little. So it works really well. Again, the parameters are set by yourself. So if the market is selling off hard, remember. Lots of times, market will sell off, and these things will kind of overshoot. It depends on what's what's moving the market. Because I'm looking at this right now, this was a, a quad rotation, and you can see a, just a little bounce happened in that quad rotation. But that was it. Then it came right back down, turned over here. Um, you know, that's that's another key thing. When you see this fail, when you see this fail to go back, <laughs> excuse me. <clears throat> I have to get something to drink there. Um, so yeah, the um, you know if you have news and you understand what the, how, what the market is giving you, lots of times this will give you a lot, but it might got give you a, enough to get there. So I always now you know working on a script, an update of this script, which is going to give you a, a automatic exit at the twenty period moving average. And if you, I find that works great. If you get a signal, even if you're, it's almost like a hyper scalper. You already got that rotation. All you're looking for is the 20 because lots of times if you could recognize you're in a bad trend and you still want to use the signal, then apply the, you know, apply the, the scalper one that because the trend's going to hold under that 20. You might get these little moves, all right, but you don't want to be sticking around until you get a better time frame. And eventually, again, hopefully you see a five-minute divergence or something that really moves down there. Uh, but the divergences looking good and again you can see each time we get these setups sometimes you'll get up there right underneath where we're looking for even though this had a trailing it didn't you know it was looking for again two points it gets a point and then starts to roll over again if you had a if I had my parameters set at a point it would probably trigger all these but that really depends on what kind of trend you are trading and and the volatility in the market um, usually you get some upside even though it's a downward trend you get these little upsides but in some cases it, it will break down and things will break down I, and that's the, the danger of always with the bots majority of time great you know here's that short up here and this was really this was today um, and I did see this one here at 840 look at this um, you can't kind of shot down here I like this this is the type I like is when you have the quad diver divergence and it kind of gets pushed down a little bit further but then you have a follow-up uh, divergence so you have a quad rotation then you have a follow-up divergence after that you know versus the other way around where you have a divergence and then, then you know that is this I like um, this was a p almost a perfect quad rotation here. Um, you know, it was kind of a, a kind of a divergence here. It was very choppy. It was giving you a couple divergence signals because of this chop, and then you had the uh, quad rotation come in. Then it took off again. The choppiness, the big picture. When you look at these things at the big in the big picture, they're always around the beginning of the trend. Um, let's see here. This one had a little quad rotation here it moved up it didn't didn't go up high enough you can see these quad rotations the markets here just banking around the bottom so you had one here and not a bad change of trend again we're, you know, when I look at these markets even though we're using a one minute time frame we do have the the nice pullback you know here's slight the, the you know the, the quad rotation and you do get a slight move outside that trend at least back up to the 20 almost through the 20 a little 
Same thing here. You have this downward channel line, downward channel, and then the breakout and it pushes a little bit higher. Doesn't you know? Again, everything that you're trading is based off the time frame you're trading. So one minute time, one minute scalps and stuff shouldn't be held that long, unless you have something you're just going to leave something on. But you know, majority of it, these are scalps and they move. You could take it if you play this game. That's the game you want to play. You know, a scalping game. Here's a great divergence. It was a low and another low and a high, much higher low here. It might have just missed the divergence signal by, you know, something I have to look at it because I think I do have double bottoms. But this was a double bottom divergence and you should be able to see that. You know, even if the, the, you know, it didn't get caught by the scanner um, for whatever reason, it might be a candle off. It might have been looking for a lower low. Um, but that can be fixed. I can fix that. Again, you open yourself up to uh, other ones then. Um, yeah, so here, there was, here was the uh, just a perfect double bottom right there. And then right here was such a higher, higher low. Um, and a nice move. And again, this is key, you know. If you're in it, especially if you feel the market's not doing much, it's a lot of chop, why not just pay attention to this? So you get your divergence. You're in here, you're moving up, and all of a sudden you start to get you're overbought. So I would be calling it a day soon, you know, up here, right here. And whatever it gives you, it gives you. But the odds of getting something are always there. So you have it again. That's a little better divergence, but you have a fast rotation. It just tags that 80 line uh, on the fast, account, and it comes right back down. Every time it gets up to the 80, you can go back and back test this. The majority of the times, you're, you're going to get the odds are you're going to get some type of sideways or downward motion. Sometimes the sideway motion is giving you that indicator in itself, you know, saying, hey, this is not selling off. It might go higher, you know, and then you could look for flags and stuff like that. Here's a, um, it was a short. And this is over. This is one o'clock in the morning. Oh. Yeah, again, at night, too, it's very choppy. Definitely want to use these things during the market market hour. So that's what it's going to look like when you're running both. Um, the other scripts are great um, that you're going to get with this. I'll go over them right, right now. All right, so you got the Thunderbird one minute um, short and long. Um, you're going to get the quad rotation. You're going to get the bull and bear flag, the rock bot bear flag, the rock bot bull flag. And that is, um, that's going to be it. But th what's coming that I'm not done yet with here is a momentum trader. It's a little bit different. Um, it's like it's, it's based off of this. But I'm trying to do one one um, one um, script that does them both at the same time. Only trigger if you have the combination both. But uh, it's not giving me that great result. Yeah, it's not. It's giving me enough setups. It's very hard to program that in. But I'm working on that. So that's it. That's what's gonna, you're gonna get. I want to try to get that up right now. If you need any uh, any questions or anything, I'll, of course I'll be uh, I'll be around. We turn that down here. See the market is going to actually go right up to the end of the market here. That was nice. And these are a little bit late too. You know, I can make these divergences a little bit faster. You know, I think we could we uh, especially on this. Remember, I was saying that sometimes you know I'm giving this. It needs to be up two candles already to get the momentum. And I actually popped here. You can't see it, but there's a big candle underneath that gray bar. Because I remember that, because that popped and then it came back and then it did put in a nice divergence here, um, and then it was it it went up there and then uh, first profit took profits it moves and stop at the break even and it gets out and that's probably what you want you know this is this works good in this environment a choppy environment divergence long big pop first and second profits first and second profits all the way up short. All the way down. Here we got a little choppy. It looks like. What time was that? That was at 12:30, and it did catch a good divergence long. 
it was a profit target hit trailing stop somebody's got run over today um it is it is uh tuesday evening so i'm going back and looking at this because i was testing it today Again, it doesn't hurt to have it on your screen, you know, the quad, quad rotation. Remember, it's trending markets go get over overbought, could stay overbought, and oversold could stay oversold, depending on what the situation is. So just remember that all the, all the time. But a great timing tool because this is a visual tool. It'll overlay that. It'll also come out and say that. And I have to get the audio file up there. If you guys want to use my audio file, Rufus doing the um, quad rotation. Um, I'll um I'll post that in there too, and you can download it. And I think I have to tell you where to put it. You know, where, what folder to put it in, so it'll grab it. If you want to use that, I think it's pretty cool. So, all right, I want to get this out to you, and I want to try to get this out here tonight. So, if, so let me get working on that. Hey everybody, day trader rockstar here. Um, I want to add this to my um, video I just sent out, but I'm also going to make this a separate video in itself. This is for the new edition of the on uh, the new updated script on the Rockbot. We're going to call it Rockbot 23. So that's the folder you're going to see. I just uploaded the folder to the server. So I want to show you where to find that. And again, with that in in, in this folder, I want to keep the old one there. The Rockbot uh, version three three is. Um, it's a little confusing, but I, to rock, but I wanted to put down 23. This is going to be updated again. Just, I should put down 4. Maybe it would make it easier. I'll put down 4. All right. But, um, it was it meant for uh, 2023. Uh, template instructions, the other instructions on how to s upload this, if you're not familiar with it. Or go to the uh, website, and I want to show you that right now, because this is where you're going to be able to find it. Um, so, let's go here. That's actually, that's the, that's the tradeometer. Let's go to uh, chart here, or I gotta get a um, I gotta get a window open for myself here. I should have prepared myself, but that's me, Mister on the on the fly here. Um, so again, if you log it into Day Trading Radio uh, and have access to the Rockbot, want access to the Rockbot, just go to Day Trading Radio. Let's see here, where is it here? Uh, go to your members area, sign in, and then your dashboard will come up on the screen. And then I'll just move this over so you can see the whole thing. And down, if you scroll down here, um, you'll see Rockbot. So if you go to Rockbot, um, this is the code. This is the Rockbot channel, so you can actually watch that. Uh, if, but if a code is a special, uh, you know, free add-on that lifetime members get and you could run this on your own machines and uh, always update it. I think it's going to be really big. So this is where you would go and click on that link. This will tell you a bit about the page. It'll have um, a video of the rock pod. It'll, this will be destruction, you know, instructions on it. Um, it says, uh, you know, it has to buy diversion short script, one minute long short. Instead of doing the five minute and one minute, I condense those. So that's, you're not going to have that the bull and bear flag is still going to be the super signal is just running the one in five minute. Um, ooh, did I forget one? Did I forget the five minute um, divergence script? All right. I got I to gotta send that. I got to resend it back up. So you're going to have the five minute also and the bear and bear flag, uh, bull and bear flag. So you won't have the si uh, super signal because that was too complicated to set up. Um, so we now made two, just a good five minute and good one minute that you run. You know, I would run those on separate charts because they're going to give you better signals on each chart. A five minute trend is something you want to always take a divergence on. But if it happens with a one minute, you'll just see it visually. So put them right next to each other. Um, and um, the candlestick identifier is a is a um, the ninja indicator that uh, I think I show you how to download that. But if you need any help here. Um, here's some video instructions and you can always reach out to me and I'll help you with it. So go up to the top here and let's hope it's there. Let's hope the Rockbot 23 is there. So go to Rockbot. 
and there it is rockbot 23 zip and uh, that's the version 3 zip again we used the 23 one but the and you might actually have to, I'm not um, you know again I'm uh, about the scripts I'm not using I don't um, you know don't know the ins and outs of the ninja platform uh, especially when you're over you know uploading scripts and stuff I don't know if you have to delete the old script de delete the old assembly before you upload this assembly there is an option for that on your dashboard on your ninja trader um, if you do get an error there's a there's an option to on your ninja trader platform under tools um, you could uh, delete assembly I'm just looking remove ninja script assembly that's it right there um, <coughs> you can't see it but I'm looking at it <laughs> so it is it's under tools and remove it and then your script um, assembly so that's it and then you down upload it and and have some uh, good times with that uh, the previous video I just went over I was just doing some tests on it too actually on the one minute uh, the script that I just sent sent you it's it's actually you know tweaked it just a little and it's it's coming back with really good success I just ran it this month um, on the five minute time frame um, and I think this is I was just messing around with it 74 percent which is pretty good I mean we could do this longer term and stuff it has a little thing I didn't even set the parameters I was just making sure I had the right one I sometimes I just run the, the back testing to see how many trades it takes this I didn't want to take a, a trend you know tremendous amount of trades so this is a little bit more uh, reliable. 125 Trade winning trades. Trade and Q oversold. 125 winning trades, 36 losing trades, and you know I'm sure you could adjust that by your trailing stop and by your initial stop. You could do some optimization on this. All right, so that's that. Um, again, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to ask. I'll try to get to them. I usually send them back uh, answers out in video format because a lot of people will. Um, have the same question so all right thank god that is up i apologize for not getting out faster over and out see you in the room